Hi, Peter Charles here for Fly Fly Fishing. And I know I look a little weird here with a black t-shirt on. Uh, I look like a disembodied head. But uh, I'm doing this for a reason. We're going to talk about uh, fluorescence and what it means for our fishing when we use a flu fluorescent fly tying material. I'll try and say that quickly. So what is fluorescence really? Well, technically, uh, the material gets hit by a photon of light and it reflects a, a photon of light at a lower energy state, in other words, a uh, longer wavelength of light. So essentially what's happening is wavelengths of short, very short wavelengths of light are being converted into longer wavelengths of light. And particularly UV, violet, blue, those, especially UV, tend to be converted into something else. So I have this uh, green antron, it's fluorescent, and what that means is when this is hit with UV, violet, and blue light, it basically reflects it back as this chartreuse green. And so it looks like it glows, especially if we were to see this on an overhead overcast day. Uh, this stuff looks quite hot. Uh, less so on a bright day because, uh, you know, the bright sun tends to you know, kind of overwhelm it a little bit. But when we get it into water, you know, you can see that hot color. So I'm going to turn my main light out and we're going to see what fluorescence actually looks like. Okay, this is looking even creepier. Here's my uh, UV torch. And you can see how that glows. I can illuminate my finger with it. It doesn't do much. But when I hit it on this, it's really hot. And that's what's happening is this UV is being reflected back as chartreuse. So let's get the light back on. So there are limitations to this though. Uh, UV and blue light don't penetrate very far in the water column. So if you were to use fluorescent materials really deep down in a, you know, a, a, a stream that has stained water, you're not going to get much of effect really deep. So this is probably a, a good idea, maybe the top three feet, top four feet maybe you can use fluorescent colors and they work really well in typical river situations. You could probably use it a lot deeper in the ocean, but uh, where the water could be gin clear. But in typical stained wa trout water, I wouldn't try to uh, use this kind of material really deep and expect it to work. But in typical trout fishing situations and typical trout depths, it's going to work just fine. And what you get out of that is this really nice, hot, glowing spot on the fly, wherever you put the fluorescent materials in, especially on overcast days. And it can be quite effective in, in attracting fish. So don't forget, you look on here to see if it says fluorescent, FL, in, in often the case. And if you have one of these UV torches, you know, you can always, you know, hit it with the UV torch and to see if you're getting any kind of fluorescence coming off of it. Uh, and that's a good way to, to test it, especially just turn out the lights in a room hit it with the UV torch, and if it kind of looks dull, it's not fluorescent. If it's hot glowing, it's fluorescent. And uh, as I say, make use of the material. Don't be afraid to use it. it. It can be quite effective. So, fluorescence. Give it a try. Cheers.